So today we're going to talk about how to use the solver tool in Excel. And we're going to use it to solve linear equations and also systems of equations. So let's go ahead and begin. So let's begin by zooming in. And the solver tool is an add-in, so you got to put it in. So if you go to File, and then Options, go to Add-ins, and then at the bottom, next to Manage, go click the Go button, and then check the box Solver Add-in. Click OK. So to access it, you need to go to, well, this is loading. You need to go to Data, and then you'll see the Solver tool here. So first, let's write the equation that we're going to solve. So the first one is going to be a simple equation. 4x plus 7 is equal to 8. So what I'm going to do is write the, the variables and the value of that variable, which is what we're looking for. So we only have one variable, which is x. And the value for x is located in cell C2. Over here, we're going to write the equation and the constraint, which is basically what the equation is equal to. So in the equation section, that is in cell E2, type in equal 4 times x. Now, we can't write x, but notice that cell C2 is going to be the value that's equal to x. So we're going to replace x with cell C2, and then plus 7. We're not going to write equal 8. So we're basically writing the left side of this equation, replacing x with C2. Now the right side, which is 8, we're going to put it here. At this point, you can go to data, and then solver. Now, set objective, if you hit that button, this is going to be the objective equation. And that's cell E2. So you can click enter, it'll take you back here, and then don't select max or min, let's select value of, and so the constraint is 8. So notice that cell E2 contains the equation, and that equation is equal to the constraint value of 8. Now, if you have a system of equations, you're going to use this Add button to add any additional equations. But we only have one equation, so we could just put the first one here. Now, the next thing we need to do is put something in this section where it says, by changing variable cells. So click this button at the right, and the variable that we're changing is x, but its value is located in cell C2. So once you highlight that cell, press Enter. And this is all we need. So now we can click the Solve button, and it's going to give us an answer. Then press OK, and here is the answer. So x is equal to 0.25. So 4 times 0.25, which is 1, plus 7, that's going to equal 8. So that's how you could use the Solver tool to solve linear equations. Now let's try an example where we have a system of two linear equations. So let's write the equations that we're going to solve. The first one is going to be 2x plus 3y is equal to 22. After that, the next one is going to be 5x minus 2y is equal to 17. So we have two equations, two variables, x and y. Let's delete this because we're going to get a new value. Now the first equation, the left side, is 2x plus 3y. The value for x corresponds to cell C2. The value for y corresponds to cell C3. So in cell E2, we're going to write equal. Now instead of writing 2x, we're going to write 2 times C2, because C2 corresponds to the value of x. And then plus 3 times, instead of y, it's going to be C3, because C3 corresponds to the value of Y. And then press Enter. Now for the next one in cell E3, 
and we're going to put this equation. So equals 5 times x or c2 plus or rather minus 2 times y or c3 and then enter. Now the number is 22 and 17 let's write it here. Now let's solve the equations using solver. So our first equation which is located in cell E2 so we don't need to change this that's equal to 22 so we need to change this value. So that's the first equation. Now I'm gonna click the add button to add the second equation because there's two equations. So the cell reference that's gonna be the equation in E3 and instead of writing less than or equal to let's select the equal to symbol and then the constraint for cell E3 is found in cell F3 which is 17 and then click OK. So we have the first equation which is found in cell E2 and that's equal to 22 and the second equation which is found in E3 that's equal to F3 which is 17. Now we need to adjust this because we're changing two variables and not one so we can highlight cell C2 and C3 and then press enter. So now we have everything that we need. So press the solve button and then click OK. So this will give us our answers. So x is 5, y is 4. So let's go ahead and highlight uh, these two cells because that's where our answers uh, will appear. So to check the work you can plug in x and y. So x is 5, so 2 times 5, let's put equals, plus 3 times y, where y is 4. So that gives us 22. And now for the second one, we can type in equal 5 times x, x is 4, minus 2 times y, and y is, I mean x is 5, y is 4. So 2 times 4. And that gives us 17. So we know that these two answers are correct. Now let's try one more example. This time we're going to solve a system of three equations. So the first equation is going to be 2x plus 3y minus 4z and that's equal to negative 2. The second equation is going to be 3x minus 2y plus 5z and that's going to be equal to 26. And for the third one, it's going to be 4x plus 3y minus 2z, which is equal to 14. So we have three variables, x, y, and z. So let's delete these values. And let's highlight that cell. Let's change the constraints to these three values that we see here. So negative 2, 26, and 14. Now we need to adjust the equations as well. So the first equation, keep in mind x, we're going to replace x with c2. y, we're going to replace that with c3. And z will be replaced with c4. So the first equation, which is found here, we're going to write the left side of it. So equals 2x, or 2 times c2, plus 3y, or 3 times c3, and then minus 4z or 4 times c4. So that's it for the first one. Now for the next one, 3x. So that's 3 times c2. Whoops, let's go back to that. And then minus 2 times c3 plus 5 times c4. Okay, so that looks good. It's always good to double check to make sure that everything is correct. Now for the last one, equals 4 times c2 plus 3 times c3 minus 2 times c4. So we have everything that we need at this point. So now let's go to the solver tool. Let's click data, solver, and cell E2, that's for the first equation we need to set it to the first constraint which is negative 2. 
and let's adjust what we have here. So by changing variable cells C2, C3, and C4. So press enter. And then let's adjust what we have here. So let's click delete. And let's add a new equation. So the first cell reference will be in E3. Let's change this to equals. And that constraint that corresponds to E3, that's 26, which is found in F3. So that's the second equation we've added. So here's the first equation. E2 is set to negative 2. The second equation, E3 set to F3, where F3 is 26. Now we have three equations, so we need to add another one. So the cell reference is going to be E4. Change this to equal, and the constraint will be in F4, which is 14. Click OK. So now we have everything that we need. So click Solve, and then after that, press the OK button. So now we have our values. X is 3, Y is 4, Z is 5. So let's check it. So equals 2 times X, where X is 3, plus 3 times Y, Y is 4, minus 4 times Z, or 4 times 5. So that gives us negative 2. So now 3 times 3, minus 2 times 4, plus 5 times 5. That gives us the second value, 26. And for the last one, 4 times 3 plus 3y, or 3 times 4, minus 2 times 5. And that gives us the last answer. So we know that these answers are the right answers. And that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to solve a system of linear equations using the solver tool in Excel. Thanks for watching.